name's Paulie. Hope you're having a great day. I know I am. And today we're going to compare the sound of vintage tube screamer op amps to modern tube screamer op amps. More specifically, the JRC4558. Now the reason why I'm doing this, and to many, there'll be no doubt in their mind why I would be doing a video on this subject, but I will explain it anyway. The reason why I'm doing this is there have been rumours and stories about the legend of the vintage Tube Screamer. More specifically, Tube Screamers produced from 1985 back. Basically the TS-808s and the TS-9s. So, what is the real difference between the modern counterpart to the old Tube Screamers and the old Tube Screamers? Well, there are a few changes. There are a few component changes here and there. And from 1985, Ibanez actually led away from using the JRC4558 to using chips from other manufacturers and whatnot that had different numbers but were basically a very similar product. Now, or component. Now, guitarists being guitarists, they felt that the old ones sounded better and there were a lot of talk about it online and eventually Ibanez reissued the TS9 with the JRC or A chip with JRC4558 on it. So, the reason why I want to do it is I want to compare the new chip to the old chip in the same circuit. We've all heard and we've all seen the comparisons between new tube screamers and old tube screamers, but I want to compare the new chip to the old chip in the very same circuit because online I've seen new old stock JRC 4558s for sale for like 30 bucks a pop when they should only be a few dollars a pop. So, you know, I want to find out whether people are wasting their money or whether they're actually purchasing something that is actually an investment. So how are we going to compare the modern chip to the vintage chip? Well, what I did was I got my TS9 and I went through and recorded some riffs and licks and different things into some recording software. And then, without changing the controls, I'd swap the chip over for a vintage JRC4558. Played the same licks and riffs and recorded them and we're going to compare them back to back. Now, this isn't going to be a blind test. I'm actually going to allow you to to see uh, which chip is being used when. I don't see the point of really doing a blind test. If people want to decide that they can hear a difference there, that's fine, and that's what this is for. It's just to save people that don't believe there's a difference or a difference worth worrying about from spending the money and finding out that it really didn't uh, make much difference. Now, I've caught some flack in the past with some of my AB tests and it's because of the, the quality of the recording and I've gone to some pretty decent lengths this time to ensure that the quality of the recording is fairly decent so that people won't complain about that. So here we have the samples I've recorded for this, this little test or demo. On the top track we have the clean samples, on the second track we have the new chip in the Tube Screamer samples on the third track we have the vintage chip in the tube screamer samples now what i've tried to do when i played each track i tried to get each each sample sounding as similar as possible as far as the playing is concerned so that the only real difference that we're going to hear is the actual uh, effect of the chip Hopefully that's all that you can really detect. Uh, I've broken them up so that uh, each sample that's played in the same manner will correspond to one another in three. So you'll have the clean, the new, and then the vintage. And, and that goes down the line. Also, you'll notice that only the left track is recorded. And that was just a different recording technique I used. I'll make sure that it actually comes through on both speakers when I mix it down. Uh, apart from that, that's about it. So I'll do a mix down and 
in the next portion of this video, you should be able to hear each sample. So I hope you got something out of that little A-B test. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't hesitate to share it, because if you liked it, I'm sure somebody else will too. And as usual, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to have a great day, and keep rocking on.